Hello, my name is Rick Damon and I own Damon Strength Training in Beaver, PA. Welcome to our video training series, You Don't Know Squat. Welcome to You Don't Know Squat. My name is Rick Damon, and today we're going to be demonstrating the 15-minute sandbag complex. The great thing about sandbags is they're a versatile tool. You can use them anywhere, everywhere, all types of workouts. The best place to pick them up is BruteForceTraining.com. We probably have a hundred of the sandbags. They've been a great product. They're great service. Highly recommended. So let's get started into the sandbag complex. List of movements are going to be in this order. Sandbag push-up. Sandbag shouldering, sandbag overhead press, and finishing up with sandbag shoulder squat. After you finish the sandbag shoulder squat, you're gonna put the bag down and we're gonna finish with some abdominal movements. All right, let's get started on the sandbag complex. The first movement we're gonna do is uh, five sandbag push-ups. So you're gonna get set up over top the bag. All right, you're gonna use the bag as a uh, uh, finish point. Pause and press. Okay, directly after the sandbag push-up, sandbag's already in the position you want it to be in. You want to go from one movement directly to the next little rest as possible. So I want to stand directly over top of the bag. You have two options. You can grab the handles or you can grab under the bag, which I prefer. I have a lot stronger grip. You want to make sure you have a good deadlift position. You're going to drive the bag up, throw it on your shoulder, come directly back down. Bag touches the ground, drive your legs. Make sure your elbows are high when you throw the bag. Okay, after you complete the sandbag shouldering, you're gonna keep the sandbag on any shoulder. Whatever you finish on is fine. From here, hands directly underneath the bag. You're gonna dip, press the bag up and over to the opposite shoulder. You're gonna pause. You're gonna think one rep at a time. Dip, press up and over. Pause, dip, press up and over. Good, after you complete sandbag overhead press, you're gonna keep the uh, sandbag on the shoulder you finish, whatever it is. You want to make sure you distribute it evenly. I like to get my hands in the front. The entirety of the sandbag complex, my feet, the positioning of my feet, they never change. They stay screwed in or glued into the floor. So from here, I'm going to keep the sandbag on the shoulder, make sure I maintain good posture, stay braced, and I'm going to complete some squats. Keep the sandbag up. Don't let the sandbag guide your body. Good. After you complete the sandbag shoulder squat, put the bag down, give yourself some space. You're going to finish with... Uh, uh, L overs. Okay, so the position you want to get into, you want to have your feet straight out. Back flat, arms out to the side like a T, palms flat. The goal is to maintain um, our upper body flat on the back the entirety. So I want to bring my legs up and I want to go directly over, straight over. I want to try to keep my upper back flat on the ground the whole time. I want to come straight back up. Every time I get back up, I want to come down to the middle and I want to hit the opposite side. Same thing, upper back, flat on the ground. And then I complete some reps. Good, so that's the completion of our sandbag complex. Remember, it's 15 minutes in length. The goal is to get as many sets or rounds as you can, ideally maintaining good form through the entire 15 minutes. Push yourself, have fun with it. Uh, if you need any more information on Damon Strength Training, please click on the video and sign up for our ebook.